So a new version of the incredibly popular Jackie app called Jackie for Deck has recently been released for Windows and it may just be even better and the very best way to remote play our PS5 on our ROG Ally and indeed other Windows based handhelds like the Go 2. Here's how to set it up in just 5 easy steps including proper configuration and also mapping the controls. So let's dive straight in and for step one, let's download Chucky for Deck. And to do this, let's head on over to github.com forward slash street P forward slash Chucky for Deck forward slash releases. Link is in the description. At the time of recording, this 1.6.3 is the latest version. Scroll down to assets and download the Windows version of Chucky for Deck. And this should take no more than a minute. For step two, let's install by heading to where we downloaded it, which in my case is the downloads folder extracting it then simply move our extracted folder to wherever you like for me i'm going to put it in the documents folder let's open this folder and it's asking us to extract again an extraction within an extraction nice so let's do this which just takes a moment open this new folder and yes right here we have all the checky for deck files now fully uncompressed and ready to use for step 3 let's now load Checky for Deck by finding the Checky.exe file and opening it. This security pop up will appear so let's click allow and we're now presented with this snazzy new Checky for Deck splash screen which is sweet. If you're going to use Checky for Deck a lot like I will then you may want to pin to the taskbar for easy access like I'm doing. And I did try several times to add Checky for Deck to Armory Crate 2 for easy access but it glitched and froze on me multiple times for some reason. Um, thanks Asus. For step 4 let's now configure Checky for Deck. Now if you've already installed Checky then the great news is that your PS5 console should already be registered. However if this is your first time using Checky PS5 Remote Play then check out my vid tutorial right here, link in the description to go through some simple steps such as heading to go through some simple steps such as heading to psn.flipscreen.games to register your PS5 console. So now our PS5 is registered, let's head into the cog icon in the top right and fully configure Chucky for Deck in settings. In the main general tab, the action on disconnect and action on suspend is entirely up to you. I'm going to keep these both the default settings, but one setting that we do want to enable is to tick the PS5 features box to enable PS5 rumble on our ally. Next in video, let's change the resolution to 1080p and feel free to experiment here. For example, I'll select D3D11VA as the hardware decoder. I'm going to leave the bitrate to automatic, but some of you may find setting this higher to say 30,000 may improve your performance, so play around a little bit. The next tab is audio and again, play around with the buffer size, either keep it on 4,000 or I'm going to try 9,000. So again, feel free to experiment. In the consoles tab you may want to enable auto connect like I have to the PS5 console so it auto connects. And finally in the keys tab here the PS button is set to S and the DualSense touchpad is set to T. We can map these in armory crate within settings then configure. I like the M1 rear button as the PS button so I set this to S in the keyboard and I've set the rear M2 button as the T key to enable the DualSense touchpad. Checky for Deck is now fully set up and configured, yes! And if you found this helpful then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these great ally tutorials, you guys are awesome! Also let us know how you find this new Checky for Deck, what PS5 games will you remote play first and feel free to share any tips in the comments. And as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. If you don't leave your past in the past, it will destroy your future. Live for what today has to offer, not what yesterday has taken away. So many of us have been battered and bruised from difficult childhoods and past experiences, but let's stay positive and focus on the great future ahead of each one of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to know how to customize game artwork within Armory Crate. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.